nightmares will be painted black And I wish you would hurt me harder than I hurt you And I wish you wouldn't wait for me, but you always do Insider had took the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its first time. As you can see, I'm wearing the traditional black long dress that is called abaya. Saudi Arabia is a very mixed country. From tradition, culture, innovation, you can find everything here. Now I reached the Al-Khaladiya stables, a very huge facility dedicated to the Arabian horses in the middle of the desert. But the Arabian Insider is here for the Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Arabian Horse Festival. Today is the first day of the show. A lot of entries only today. We are going to see more than 140 horses with all the yearling and junior class, then tomorrow stallion and mares, and the day after desert bread, and then finally the championship. Alcaladia Stables is very known not only for Arabian horse show horses, but also for race horses. In fact, during these days of the show, just yesterday, we had an important race competition with a very big money prize. So let's know something more about. Uh, this race, one of the biggest and very important race financed by uh, Prince Khaled bin Sultan. The prize is one million US dollar. Uh, yesterday we have many horses from Saudi Arabia, but I'm so happy that we have many horses, you know, come from uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, from Oman, and one uh, horse come from Netherlands, and other horses, it's, it's from Saudi Arabia. Remember this name, Talab Al Khalidiya, the number number one horse, race horse, and I think in Saudi Arabia. Very soon, I think he's going to participate in United Arab Emirates. He's going to participate in France because this horse, you love to see him running and you love to see him leading the other horses. I wish, you know, for next year race, we have more races comes from Europe, Morocco, from United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, from Oman, from all countries, because as you know, the land of Arabian horses is Saudi Arabia. So to have this prize from the land of Arabian horses, it will make difference to you even for the history of your stud. Really, I would like, you know, to thank you. I would like to thank all of your viewers in different countries. You are here in Saudi Arabia, you travel, you work very hard. You know, followers sitting and watching and hearing and know what happened in the world. I wish you all the best because you deserve. You will work hard for us. So thank you for that. So high, counting stars in the night sky. Oh, when the sun is rising, oh, we are rising to the top. We're in baby, no backup. See light from a bird's eye, drinking cocktails until we die. The summer's got me colorblind. Everything is just alright, cause baby, we are magnetized. Shattered about how time flies Life's a game of goodbyes To all believing in destiny We're here while we are young and free Hey Philip, how you doing today? I'm fine yourself, Scotty. I'm good, I'm good. Uh, apparently Francesca has asked us a question uh, of when it was when we first started working for Al Caladia Stables. My gosh, it's difficult for me to remember when I started working for him, but I would have to guess right around 2005. I've shown many horses for Al-Khaladia for you know several years after that, and then I went to uh, al Badiah Stud, and then you took over for me, Philip. You remember when you yeah, took over? My first time was uh, Jordan and Egypt. Uh, was one after the other week. Yeah. I think we worked very 
well together as a team. They hired many different trainers and handlers all over the world to assist them in the, to, uh, the handling and the presentation of their horse. And Philip and I are still with Al Caladia today. As a matter of fact, the first show in Al, Al Caladia was 10 years ago. I showed at that particular show, and I'm sure Philip did as well. I showed for sure on the first organizing show in the old part of the stables. And I remember to show uh, Padron's image as a gold champion in that time, I think. I can, I can remember my world champion. I showed, uh, you know, Fawn Obsession many years ago. I showed the Caro to his reserve uh, world champion, and there were so many more that not world champions, but champions all over Europe, all over the Middle East. In all reality, uh, my involvement, our involvement with Al Khalidi has been a very, very wonderful moment uh, and important part of our lives because it has de developed our reputations as professional trainers and handlers and we're very pleased to still be a part of the Al Khalidi team. Well, I can certainly assure everybody out there in the Arabian horse industry that Philip Jose and myself, Scott Allman, are looking very forward to promote the Al Caladia horses in the 2018 show season throughout Europe and the Middle East. This is Scott Allman, CNN, Al Caladia Stables, Saudi Arabia. Ciao. 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 <laughs> Obrigado. Good evening. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, we have been inside that. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao means uh, hi. Hi. Say hi. Hello. No, ciao. No. No, mio. Uh -huh. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> ciao. <laughs> Everybody say ciao. Why are you just say hello? Ciao. 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 Milan. <laughs> Ciao. 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 Ciao from Saudi Arabia. Ciao! Shukran. Arabian insider. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs>Bin Abdulaziz International Arabian Horse Festival has started with all the yearling and junior classes. Yesterday we had the super nice mare class. To mention some names, the two times world champion Donna Moltobella, the silver champion 2017 Shirin Bayaisha, Norma, they were all competing here in this arena and they will try to take the gold medal today in the championship. And then a super stallion class as well. In 30 minutes the championship will start. I have to say the show is very international. I met people from Kuwait, Oman, USA, Saudi Arabia, Europe. It's very nice because we are all here only for the Arabian horses. And they are so active in support their horses and the handlers. But let's jump in the championship.
تشكيلي علي المعمار طبعا حضرت هذا المهرجان مهرجان الامير سلطان بن عبد العزيز الجواد العربي بدعوه كريمه ومن خلال هذه الدعوه التقينا بالعديد من الفنانين الشباب اللي كان لهم اهتمام برسم الجواد العربي وحقيقه كان هذا المعرض اللي يمثل نخبه مميزه من هؤلاء الفنانين الشباب اللي مهتمين والجادين فعلا في الاهتمام وتسجيل كل ما يتعلق بالجواد العربي من خلال لوحاتهم الجميلة هذه the two-time world champion mayor she showed amazing she was very nice yesterday so big congratulations to Alsa Kranstad that she took the gold medal today again <laughs> <laughs> 